Down here in the fish room, I've got a lot of fish tanks. I've got 23 tanks in this room, and I've got a lot more upstairs. A lot of you know that already. Down here, we've got all freshwater and brackish aquariums, meaning freshwater or brackish mixture of salt and freshwater. We don't have any saltwater aquariums down here. People always ask me, do you have saltwater aquariums? Do you do, you do saltwater fish? Usually this is people that uh, you know don't know a lot about the aquarium hobby, so they, they just assume if you have 30 fish tanks, you have a bunch of saltwater and reef tanks, but I don't have any. I actually have done saltwater in the past. A lot of you know that I had a nano reef tank. Uh, sold that a while ago. And I also have done um, some Fowler tanks. I've got some customers for my aquarium service uh, business that have saltwater tanks. So I am familiar with saltwater, but I don't have any right now. But that may change, and I want to ask you guys what you think about me possibly setting up a small saltwater tank down here in the fish room. Hey, fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks. Now, before we get into the video, a couple things. One, I do want to apologize for not releasing a video uh, the other day, uh, which was Sunday. And uh, the reason why is I was just way too busy last week. Uh, my regular job, my nine to five, has been tremendously busy and stressful and didn't have a whole lot of time to do anything else besides just the basics. And I also was working on a project over the weekend, so I just didn't get a chance to film at all or do anything. Although, um, that project is right through that door. So at the end of this video, I'll give you guys a peek at what I did. But anyway, back to the fish tank. So um, down here, oh, the other thing I forgot to talk about, duh, my hair. So a lot of you are looking at my head saying, what the heck is going on with Zenzo's head? Um, yes, my hair is currently silver, gray right now. That's a whole nother topic. We're not gonna get into this video, but if you do think that I should talk about it in a future video, you can comment down below and tell me if you care at all about my hair. But anyway, um, on to fish tanks. So down here, I have some fish tanks that uh, currently don't really have a theme. Um, pretty much everything down here has a purpose. We've got brackish paludariums and planted tanks and cichlid tanks and all kinds of stuff. But I've got two tanks, two 20 gallon aquariums that are kind of just hospital tanks right now. Um, one of them, I've got a cichlid in there that's not doing great. He's kind of blind and got beat up a little bit. So we will see uh, what we do. I'm just gonna kind of keep that as a hospital tank right now. But I have this tank right here, this 20 gallon tank behind me that uh, has served a lot of purposes over the last several weeks. And the reason I have this tank is because Dean from Dean's Fish Room, Dean Twiddell, insisted that I put a tank there when we redid this room. So I obliged, we put a tank there but there's nothing really in it. I did have a peacock down there that I was kind of rehabilitating and he's back upstairs in a display tank. So now it's just bare and I thought this would be a great place for me to have a saltwater tank. I can sit in my little chair right there and just kind of glance over and look at the tank. Um, and I do want to do a fowler tank. So I've done reef in the past. I don't really want to tackle that right now, not in this room. That might be something I do in the future upstairs as a display tank. But I want to do a Fowler. For those of you that are not familiar with Fowler, that's basically a saltwater tank, a marine tank without having corals. It's not a reef aquarium, it's a Fowler. So it's fish only with live rock. Live rock is basically like dry coral with bacteria on it, etc. So I want to do a Fowler tank. Um, I've got some ideas. I actually talked to some other YouTubers that are very successful at like breeding fish and even filtering a Fowler tank with a sponge filter, which I've done before myself as well. And I'm thinking about doing a pair of clownfish in here. 20 gallons, clownfish, Fowler, sponge filter. Comment down below and let me know what you think about that idea as well. Do you think I should do it? Do you have any other ideas about Fowler? I could obviously play with the mollies and even put some of those down in the Fowler tank as well because mollies can live in salt water and do quite well. So. Let me know what you think. I've been playing with this idea for a couple of months now, I guess, and I just never got around to it. Like I said, I've been super busy. Can't really go out and do a lot of shopping anyway, but I think it's time for me to venture out and uh, go to my local fish store, get some live rock, and convert this over to a Fowler tank, and then we'll pick out some clownfish down the road. So anyway, comment down below what you think. And for those of you that are still with me that have been patient and want to see what I was working on, 
let me uh, flip the camera around and we'll go take a look. Okay, so obviously we're down here in the fish room, but let's go walk through the door of the fish room and see what I've been working on. Hard labor getting this done. So uh, a lot of you know kind of what I like to do. I like to lift weights. So what I did is I turned this storage room into my gym before it was in the garage, which is through this door. Moved all the storage boxes and Christmas decorations and everything out of this room into the garage. Made a little storage area in there where the weights were and then basically built this uh, gym. Now, I know the audio is now terrible because we're in this echo chamber of a gym, which is the opposite of what we've done in the fish room where we have all the sound panels. But anyway, I thought I would just share this uh, little glimpse of the other side of my life. So, um, mirror, obviously. I've got a little spot to hang my gear, uh, some of my wife's weights. Put a little fun little LED strip light up there. I'm able to, uh, if you guys wanna see what I've been working on, you can see I did squats today. So went up to 415 on squats. I did bench press yesterday, 315, three sets of four reps. So uh, yeah, you can kinda, kinda track my stuff. Got a little rack there to hang my gear and my wraps and everything. I've got this uh, squat rack so I can squat, bench, deadlift. Not in the rack, I deadlift out on the floor, but press, all kinds of stuff. Um, got a stall bar for stretching, got a spin bike. I've got this uh, heavy bag stand where I can hang my heavy bag and do boxing, but also uh, I've got a pulley system where I can do a bunch of different pull exercises. And then of course a TV where I can uh, watch YouTube and TV and you know HBO and all kinds of stuff down here. But uh, anyway, it's awesome because it's connected to my fish room. So I can lift weights while I'm lifting weights. I can even do water changes and I've done that already where I will uh, go in here and do some water changes like you know have the pump running and a tank training or a tank filling, go in the gym, hit a few reps and then come back in here and just check on the tank. So. Anyway, that is the tour of what I was working on and why I wasn't really able to uh, make anything over the weekend. And obviously during the week I was been, I've been slammed with work. Um, but anyway, this is where we're gonna do something. I think I wanna do that saltwater tank down there. And uh, for those of you that have done Fowler tanks, saltwater tanks, you know, comment down below. I love hearing advice. Uh, while we're down here, let's check out these Brichardi baby. Um, babies, you can see all the little fry, tons of fry of the Brichardi swimming around. Um, everyone's doing well, Brackish tanks are doing well. These five-star generals spawned again, so we'll keep an eye on them. But uh, yeah, well, there you have it. That's uh, what's going on. Um, love to read your comments and get your opinion. Um, now, I, I, you know, I kind of do what I want to do, but uh, I do really value what you guys suggest. A lot of times you guys will suggest something and I'll do it uh, because I think it's a good idea and it's something that I haven't thought of before. And oftentimes I just do what I want to do because, you know, they're my fish tanks. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all watching my channel. I appreciate all of, the, all of you that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. It does very much uh, make me feel honored. We're approaching 40,000 subscribers, so uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, feel free to share it, and uh, thank you to all my uh, patrons on Patreon for your support. Thank you to my sponsors. Catch you on the next one.